Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is episode number three of unit three for the Apes Review videos. This is survivorship curves. So what is a survivorship curve? Basically, it's um, a graph um, that shows the different lines with the survival rates of different groups of individuals of the same age or a cohort, right? So what does that mean? Basically, it charts populations from birth to the maximum age they reach to death um, and it classifies them into three types. So this is your typical general survivorship curve. Okay, now one thing I want you to see is a lot of the times on the side on the left you'll see that there's a uh, mark of percentage. Okay, so sometimes you'll see that. But sometimes you'll see this as a logarithmic scale. The main idea to understand is to see that it's showing you um, how long species survive. So some species tend to be long-lived um, and those would be your type one. Those would be like an elephant or a bear. So um, in the previous videos, we were talking about generalist specialists. We we're talking about R and K selected. So think of type one as your K selected species. They live long, they have few offspring. Um, and so a large percentage of them gets to that age where they're way out here, okay? Um, but then you can also have type two, and those would be like a frog or a squirrel. Those, you can have pretty much loss at any level on the line. So you know, not, not many of them make it to old age, but they still have a good percentage making it um, all the way. Um, and then your final group is type three. Those are gonna be more your R selected species. These are gonna be like your insects or fish. So those are gonna be the types that have a lot of offspring early, but they don't make it. Many of them may die. Like think about a fish egg. Once that's fertilized in the ocean um, externally, it ends up just kind of, uh, most of them end up eaten or consumed by another animal or things like that, and they just don't make it. Or maybe they don't end up in a viable spot. So you have a large percentage of the population that does not make it to that young age, but then, um, you know, uh, there is eventually going to be zero towards the end for everybody, okay? So some other examples you see here, like a human, um, you know, many humans now do make it from, you know, baby age to middle age to old age. Um, and then like a bird would be your type two species. They might only make it, you know, they're, they could be lost at pretty much any stage. And then you can have type three. So think about like the acorns of a tree. That's what this one is. Okay. So an acorn, um, you know, trees will, will release tons of acorns. A few of them might grow right under the tree. A few of them might get caught by an animal and taken somewhere else. And very few will actually make it to that old age to be the big trees that they see. Okay. Um, and so K selected tends to be type one and type two for the most part. Type two is kind of that gray area we mentioned from the last video. Um, but then R selected is pretty much always type three. So that's something to kind of bear in mind when you're looking at these. And to put the concepts together um, would be a good way to review and study those, okay? So here's some other resource uh, for you to check out and um, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.